So we're back doing a little bit of cooperative care stuff today with Zen and Sky. Uh, Zen is really getting the hang of her uh, chin target here. We're getting some nice stillness and duration. Um, Sky finds it a bit more difficult, both because we haven't done it before. With Zen, I've worked on and off little bits of it um, since she was tiny. Sky's got a durational hand target and she does a passive indication, like freeze on her odors for scent detection, um, but she doesn't have a, we've never done the chin rest. Um, and she is naturally proximity sensitive. So she's more selective about what she allows in her space. Zen is not, Zen is very tactile, it doesn't really care. Uh, okay, here we're just introducing some tools. So um, seeing if they want to offer a nose target to, we did the toothbrush and the nail clippers, just to build some positive associations with those things coming out. The plan is that we will um, eventually move the, the durational chin rest, chin target behavior uh, to a cushion either on my lap or on a chair so I can have them standing so that I can do things like brush their teeth, which is so important. I flaked, oh, she just got distracted by some goals. Flaked on doing it with Sky for a while and last year she had to have four teeth removed at seven years old. So really important that we keep on top of these things um, and doing their nails and, you know, checking their ears and for vet exams and things like that. Important note before we started, a bit of displacement sniffing there. She's not sure about these things. Um, before we started doing this today, I cut their nails because they were overdue and needed doing. I didn't um, ask them for any behaviour, A, because we're not there yet in our training, um, and B, because I don't want to wreck this cooperative care stuff. So I didn't even get the pink mat out. The pink mat says cooperative care time because um, they needed doing. They were overdue being done, and I didn't want to get one done, and then they say no because you have to honor that in cooperative care. So if your dog needs an injection or emergency treatment or something, don't use cooperative care um, if it has to get done. Because if they say no and you do it anyway, you'll wreck the work you've done and wreck their trust. Um, if it needs doing, just do it. If you can use cooperative care, then do. Uh, this is completely unrelated to cooperative care. This is just something that we've been doing for obedience. Um, they found this really hard because everything we've been doing today is focused on my hands and your face. And then all of a sudden I was asking them to be aware of something under your feet. And they found that quite tricky, but we got there. Sky found this especially hard because I don't do paw targeting with her. And I remembered why halfway through this session, um, she does odor recognition tests for scent detection trials. Um, I once taught her to paw target a button um, and then she started paw targeting the containers that they use because they're the similar shape and size. In trial so not good um, but we're giving this a go. Zen found it really hard to stay in her downstay and wait for Sky to do this because Sky is experienced with shaping she's fast I'm clicking a lot more often and it's it's hard for Zen to keep her composure. I cue her to lie back down with a hand signal I'm not feeding her immediately when I do that um, I do another repetition with Sky and then I feed her um, should have ended the session when I realized she was struggling I didn't she uh, when I signaled her down, I don't think it's in the video, but I signaled her down, she scratched my hand. Did I mention they just had their nails cut? 